Welcome back to another build update. Um, last night I stayed up and did some more stuff. Um, got the Infinity off-road light bar mounted. Uh, put the brackets and stuff up uh, with it. The power flip windshield comes all the way up, but it's making contact with it. I'm going to try and figure something out, try to find some new brackets maybe to raise this thing up a little bit. Uh, it's not causing any damage, but I did run into an issue with the new uh, roof. I can't get it on because it slides down over here to make a little contact. For right now, I might cut a little bit out of the roof where it's making contact. Um, I got my wiring and stuff ran. The light in the garage is a little bit... This is a little dim, but it's cold outside, so bear with me. Um, I got the wiring for the motors for the power flip up and ran. Also started running my harness for the light bar. <clears throat> got the fuse box and stuff installed where it's going to be, and then the mount for the relay for the light bar. Um, as you can see, maybe the other side where I ran the wiring harness. I know you're supposed to run that through the cage, but I don't like the fact uh, or the idea of running it through the cage, so I didn't want to. I got my switch working. Uh, it's on the accessory power, so it only comes on while the accessory power of the machine is on. I have been working on getting the heel killer installed, the shifter. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, that requires basically you taking all this all this stuff apart, um, you're handling everything, taking the old shifter out. Uh, there's a few reusable pieces. Let's see where their instructions are. They send you when you get when you get the uh, XDR from B and M uh, hill killer. They send you some instructions. It's all in black and white, but it's actually pretty good. Uh, they send you pictures and you know the instructions and everything is relatively easy to follow. Um, still haven't got to do the last part of where you got to do the linkage adjustment. Uh, haven't made it that far. I'll have to start the machine up and pull it out of the garage and get it to to be able to adjust it and make sure everything's fine to test it out. But for right now, I've got both seats out, seat belts and stuff out. Um, the front end is about to come apart. Um, so I can, I got my rock lights and stuff organized, the Infinity Off-Road rock lights. I'm using the eight watt setup. I'm gonna pull the front end apart and get that ran through and then tuck my wires as nice and neatly as I can through the trans tunnel and run everything up to the fuse box. Um, fuse box, if you watched any of my other videos, the fuse box itself, Infinity Off-Road offers it. I think it's a marine type fuse box, comes with a color and labels. Um, it's pretty nice, simple, easy to use. Uh, I've got some wood screws. It's got big threads on them, wood screws that I use to put them in uh, to start the holes if I have any issues out of them. I did the same thing with the other Maverick. Uh, I don't have any secure issues. You know, they've not came loose, not had any problems. Uh, if it does, then I'll just, I've got a, uh, a little clip that goes on the back of these screws that would serve its purpose as a, as a nut. So. Shout out to Harbor Freight for always taking my money. We got some stuff, Home Depot. I uh, got some goodies to help continue this process. Uh, so wiring, I'm gonna wire up my rock light, or uh, Infinity Off-Road rocker switch for this bad boy up here. Um, I had actually originally purchased a another light bar grill, but I really like this grill and the color of it and stuff, so I'm gonna hang on to it for a little while. I'm not gonna swap it out yet until I feel the need that I'll, I wanna get something else. But here's a good, hope the lighting's not crappy. Well, I mean, it is, but there's the bracket stuff installed for the Hill Killer um, shifter. It's not too bad. Like I said, the instructions work out great, so 
it's easy to follow. So I'm gonna update you as I go. Lighting's poor, so I can't really do much time-lapse video and stuff. It'll turn out looking like crap. But anyways, on to the next part. Okay, so I found something I should uh, mention to be documented. Uh, if you are using their light bar, Infinity Off-Road's light bar, and then their rocker switch. So in the wiring harness that you get that's connected to the little switch that's provided with it, there'll be three wires on that switch. You'll have these two right here, your blue one and your white one, and then your black one. The black one you won't use, you'll use the blue one and the white one. Now you see these other two blue wires and this red one right here, I made, I want my switch to light up as you see. Accessory lighting and everything is on, machine's not running, so I wanted the switch to light up, but also go off when accessory lighting comes out. Um, so I just now figured it out playing with it. They have a little diagram. Um, I kind of made sense of it and I figured it all out. So these two top wires that I made myself are ground wires, and this one right here is your accessory power. So the blue and the white wire is from the light bar harness itself and then the red one you'll hook to accessory power and then the two blue ones you'll hook to ground and I'll show you where those ran they're about exactly the same as what I did for the power flip windshield as recommended so right here you have your your ground your base ground for your bus and then you have your accessory power you have power here but you have accessory power right here so it'll kill power to that so I have mine connected here and then made a little three wire harness and ran it up through the trans tunnel. Uh, there's the cover panels that go right there, but I'll zip tie all that together so it's not slinging around anywhere. So I figured that was something notable to mention. If you find yourself on this video and you're like looking at their wiring diagram, which I could possibly show you right now. Bear with me for a second. And you can get this off of Infinity Off-Road. Um, basically, that's the back of the switch, what you're looking at right there. Give me a second, you can pause the video if you need to. Infinity Off-Road, you can find it there. Now you're probably wondering why you're seeing this on a uh, build update video. Uh, the last clip, I had a couple friends show up and help me knock some stuff out. Uh, the rest of the rig so we could be up here at Windrock, 10 a.m. Uh, appreciate those guys' help. Didn't record too much, but did get everything finished and buttoned up. Got all the rock lights and stuff on. Um, the front end apart and put it back together for the rock lights got the interior one done uh, haven't got to my front suspension parts yet but we got all of the wiring tucked and done and somehow whenever I start to talk I miraculously have the hiccups but anyways so got all the wiring done, got it tucked and ran. Trans tunnels all back together. The shifter, the uh, hill killer, gated shifter, phenomenal. It's uh, well worth the money compared to the factory shifter and whatnot. You just got forwards and backwards and it all goes in one direction. I love it. Even stuff as simple as turning around makes it worth it so as you see got all my infinity rock lights and stuff done and on the front grill it's playing some uh, dope Christmas music earlier and if you don't know infinity has a rock light for the dome BAM it does the interior 
Now you can make these solid, all one color. Stops, you know, white if you need a dome light to see. On the old Maverick, I had three in the back. Now I have four. I have two individual pods. They're not as bright because we've been riding since before noon. But, so yeah. The wind up here is pretty bad, so if there's wind noise in this video, I apologize. But we wanted to get up here and catch some of the snow and whatnot. It is actually pretty cold. Shout out to Rocky Mountain ATV for uh, getting me my enclosures that I ordered in October. So they've helped me out a lot. Just kidding. I know COVID, COVID's messed a lot of stuff up. But anyways, uh, there's only a few more things left on this build that I'm going to add to it, hopefully. And there's going to be a lot of cool videos come out. 2021 it's gonna be a big year um, if you guys got any questions uh, I'll try to answer them as best as possible but until then peace out